Well, staying on consumer news, if you've been watching the past few days, as you know, Caitlin, I spent last week in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show. I've been wanting to go for my entire life. It's the largest tech conference in the whole world. And I've been giving you a preview of some visions of the future each day this week. And in today's installment, I've got to look at some of the devices that will help enhance our lives at home. Take a look. I left the conference wanting to bring some of the tech home with me, but soon enough we quite literally will be. At Kohler's booth, company reps showed off Anthem Plus, a system that syncs lights and music to your shower and can recycle unwanted cold water without wasting it. Nice to meet you. Several companies hope we'll want to make robots a member of our family. LG's is supposed to meet you at your door and watch your house while you're gone. Samsung's can project information and videos on your wall no matter where you are. And Amazon showed off the Moxie AI robot that will quiz your child and coach them in the right direction when they get something wrong. But that's okay. You're doing a great job. The robots aren't just inside. Aper is among the companies developing robotic lawnmowers and pool cleaners just like a Roomba, perfect for Florida. But sometimes it's hard to keep the power you need on with our storms. EcoFlow's building a battery system they say is more modular and affordable than your typical gas generator. With a hurricane, like sometimes fuel might not be readily available, and so having a solar backup and having a battery um, is super incredibly, like, just a nice peace of mind thing to have. Yeah, Nelson, who's better known by his YouTube channel name Jerry Rig Everything, actually told me he has a whole portion of his house hooked up to these batteries. You can connect up to 15 for a month of battery life for your whole house. But if I did the math correctly, that's about $50,000. So it's nice to know you can at least expand it. And uh, I saw so many cool things, including a robotic uh, manicure. How do you think? You know what what do you think of this? Since I, I can't even do my own nails, so I would love a robot to do my own. All right. Yeah, and if you uh, are just tuning in and you've been missing out on our coverage, you can pick up later this week on WFT.org. But tomorrow, we'll be taking a look at some of the entertainment products you'll see. You'll get to see some very funny video of me in a virtual reality headset. Don't miss it.